good morning guys welcome to today's video today we are just heading we are just getting ready to head out but i wanted to just tell you because i like to document this for myself even because i forget what it's like to have a puppy basically my puppy is kicking my butt so hard you guys it's 11 30 and she's having her very first nap of the day her first nap and when she gets tired she climbs up on the couch because she knows how to do that now and cuddles up to me isn't she cute? The problem is, it's 11.30, it's her first nap of the day. She sleeps all night and hardly sleeps in the day. Like, she'll have a 15 minute nap now and then she won't sleep again for the rest of the day until like seven o'clock, she'll crash at night. But she is so hard. I think the hardest thing for me is that she is so independent. I know I've said this before, but she's so independent. Like, so many hours every single day training her to come, to sit, to lay down. She's so good at those things now. And to also, I've been training her to let me pick her up. But the problem is, there are no rewards enough in this world that would ever convince her that I can pick her up if she doesn't want to be picked up. When I want her to come to me, she comes. If I have a treat, especially, she comes. Our biggest issue is me wanting to pick her up. I, if I want to pick her up and she doesn't want me to pick her up, then I'm not catching her. But I've trained her to let me pick her up and she understands what that means. When she goes upstairs, if I go upstairs, she follows me upstairs. Then when I come downstairs, she wants me to carry her. So she sits at the top of the stairs, stands up on her feet and puts her paws up to say up for me to carry her. So I know she's understanding what I'm teaching her. She's just so darn independent. I feel like my chihuahuas wanted to be picked up more than they ever wanted to be put down. So it was so much easier. Like I just vaguely remember a stage they went through where they were like so hyper and so energetic that they were hard for me to catch and hard for me to pick up. But she's so standoffish in terms of like when she's any training that we do she sits far from me like even to get her to come I get her to come right to in front of me and then when I tell her to sit she backs up like 15 steps and then sits so I can't ever catch her I know it's just the beginning stages of training and I know she'll get better I remember like my very first chihuahua ever not being able to catch him for weeks and weeks and weeks but Oh, it's so frustrating. One of the reasons that I like to catch her in the morning is because that's when I like to brush her. It's when I want to cut her nails. It's sometimes when I want to trim up her hair when it's parts of it are getting long. It's like the time that I want to brush her teeth and do all of her grooming. But morning is not good for her. She is just a crazy, crazy dog. And I'll show you the other issue that we're having. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Daisy. Daisy thinks that Ellie is just her personal play toy. She is... They egg each other on all morning and that's why Ellie gets so exhausted and so so crazy. I try and keep a bunch of toys underneath this table for Ellie but Daisy doesn't want her to have toys so Daisy takes every toy that Ellie is playing with and takes it to her crate so and then a crazy game of tag ensues and then, then our house is so noisy because they're literally just screaming at each other and play fighting and it's just crazy like it's just been the craziest morning it's good that we do school in the morning and i don't do very much videoing in the morning because there's no way i could video our lives have totally turned chaotic and i get it it's a new puppy and that's what happens and i get that but holy man i almost forgot what it was like like the first week week and a half it was kind of it was so good because she was nervous of our place and so she always was climbing on me and wanting to hug and cuddle and now oh my gosh she only wants me when she wants me which is to nap and if she's hungry or basically that's it those are the two reasons that she ever wants me if i have treats and we're ready to do training then she's good with that i could hear penny squealing it's like a summer day out here you guys well not quite summery but it's warm Oh, warm enough I can take off their blankets today. Still a lot of snow. Hello, people. <laughs> Did she take over your shelter again? I'm going to take off your blankets. What do you guys think? Gabby's going to get food. All right, Penny's free. She know you're free. Yeah. Wait. Wait, here, I'll stand here. She wants to smell her blanket. This morning, Penny kicked Chino. And now, now that it's lighter and warmer, they'll stay out longer during the day in the big field. So we got mud, ice, 
We have all the wonderful elements today. No, I need it. I want it. I got it. Sonia, stop. I want it. How do I turn it on? Just press it. Oh. That's not very powerful. Don't do it. So, does it work good for what you wanted it for? Look at her hair. I know, I didn't. That's what it's for. Dad didn't give you that strike. <laughs> we got it as a movie prop. Oh, oh my god. You guys can do modeling now. It's to clean the floor. So, yeah, Sam bought this. Clean. It works good. It's clean. It actually works good. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Don't put it on me. It's not that powerful. It's powerful. Hey, it's me. cold. It's the cold air. It's cold air. Okay, enough. I fixed her hair. Yeah, there your you hair go. looks good, Gabby. Sam actually bought that last night. He went and bought that because yesterday we had like a discussion about sweeping. <laughs> sweeping the barn and he got that so that he didn't have to sweep. He could just <laughs> blow it. Which, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of ingenious. Sophia. Gabby just threw a whole bale of hay out there and they choose to eat together. So Penny wants to eat with him like she could go anywhere. But instead she wants to like squeal at him and tell him to get away from her food. I'm getting these too. So Sophia and I are at Michael's because I want to make a collar for Ellie. I want to make something really cute. Like, I like diamond stuff. I didn't go here when I had my business. So... Anyway, they have like so many amazing beads. Right now she's wearing a pearl necklace that I made for her. I just don't know how I would attach them together. That's cute. You know, a food thing we need to try? Sea grapes. Sea grapes? Also, they have these boxes. They're called grab bags and they're 10 bucks for a box. It's like mostly Valentine's Day stuff, but Sophie wanted to get it. She loves grab bags. Those are cute. I want like, I so she, right now she's wearing pearls, and I love pearls, and I like the one that she's wearing now. But I want something. I want something like that's diamonds. So there's this trend where that I've seen, where people say make and where people sell uh, neck jewelry for dogs for little dogs and it's just like a collar but not quite a collar it's a little bit more loose i'm gonna always use a harness on her and not a collar but i want to make these adorable jewelry things yeah those are cute so those are pearls all different sizes and they're pink that is gorgeous or these look at these White and pink pearls. If I didn't already have something made with pearls for her, I'd buy this. 29 bucks. How about I want you just get this and then make them. No, I don't want her to have colored ones. I want her to have diamond ones. Do you see any diamonds? Oh, hello, Ellie Belly. Oh, hello. Hello, cute baby. You want your lunch? Hey, you want your lunch? She's like, yes, give me lunch. So this is what I mean about her, her yeah, necklace. Okay, so if Sophie wants to open this grab bag, it's actually... This is gonna be in Daisy's cage. It's actually a grab box. We also got this at a second hand store because I showed you a couple weeks ago we had a dog one. This is a horse one. And if you rip open its belly, it gives birth to ponies, to baby foals. And there's four of them in there. Three boys. No, three no, girls. Three girls and a boy. Anyway, Aria, my granddaughter, likes to play with these, so... Uh, it's cute, but anyway, so, so I always get we always get sucked into these boxes, these grab boxes, because Sophie loves to look through oh, junk. There's so many of these. Let's see. Wow. 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 So a lot of hearts. These are expensive, though. <laughs> this is ten dollars itself. These are sticker hearts. They're cool. Oh my gosh! It's a heart. There's two of those. Twenty dollars. We made our money back. Three of them. Thirty dollars. Thirty-five. Forty dollars. Forty dollars worth of hearts. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, mailbox kits. Why? Wow, these are so good. All different kinds. Pom pom craft kits. Some pom pom craft kits. Those are cool. I can do these with Brooklyn and cupcake holders. <laughs> 
cake holders. Wow, this is like a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Another? I say sell it online. For yeah, we can sell all this stuff online. Grab box. For Don't get it. Don't get it. Well, we can make our own grab box. Wow. That's a mailbox, so you can decorate those. You could do another something one. else with it. Wow. Another one. Okay, I saw some of the other boxes, and they weren't this full. Well, that's cool. So it's a Valentine's Day box. Oh my gosh. That's, okay, these things are We can use this for homeschool stuff. Sorry. Like, this is cool. I know Sophie will figure out something to oh, do with yeah, all this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take the white one of these and decorate it with like all these since we have so many. Ellie's like, let me up. <laughs> and then we can make cupcakes. Or like these, personally. Yeah, me too. Because they're stickers. Come here, come and it here. Has, like the Ziploc things. Yeah, they're perfect. Oh well, we're all set for next Valentine's Day now. Good job, Sophie. Right, so the reason that we bought this mixer was because we want to make butter. Do you just need the cream? I forget. I think so. Oh wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I forgot. You have to put it up. All right. The last time we made butter, we put it in a jar, like how they do on TikTok. And this time, we're using a mixer because that was awful. Now we just have to sit back and wait. We have to add salt. When do we add the salt? Now? I may have put too much in because it's kind of splattering everywhere. But I wanted to make like a big batch all at once. Also, the first sign of spring in our house, I guess it's almost spring, you guys. And the first sign of spring is Sophie always goes upstairs and brings her like down. Some of her like sets it up here and plays with it because this is what she does during the spring break. I stopped drinking coffee about two and a half, maybe three months ago. I can't even remember. I should have wrote it down. I didn't. But I haven't drank coffee for a really long time. Every once in a while I have a sip of Sam's coffee and that is it. I still have so much energy 
but my energy has changed. So now... When I had a sip of coffee, it did not turn out good. <laughs> the last time Sophie had coffee, it did not turn out good, she said. Um, now my energy is like, I want to sit on my floor and train my puppy. I want to take my puppy for a walk. I want to make butter. I want to make bread. I want to sew and I want to clean my... Well, I've always liked cleaning my house. Before, when I drank coffee, all of my energy was was in was more driven to big things. I wanted to like clean our paddocks and rake everything and clean the grass and cut the grass and build a garden and do all those bigger things. But now without coffee, I just thought it was really interesting that how not drinking coffee can change the way you feel your energy and change the things that you're interested in. Where now is it's messy. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all the butter I just made. After you you whip it, you wash it. So I washed it with cold water. And it's like amazing butter. It's like perfect butter. So I'm going to uh, put some in the freezer. I'm going to wrap it up and put some in the freezer and then put some in our butter dish. <laughs> Good girl, yeah. She's got her little boots on. It's all mud out here. Come on. What? She's gonna run with the dogs. <laughs> They're slipping. Why is she slipping? Slipping. Because snow. Oh, she lost the boot. Oh, she likes it better without the boot. <laughs> She's like, I'm out with you guys! It took me an hour to put these boots on her. <laughs> she keeps falling. Take those boots off. Ellie! Ellie! Come here, Ellie! Come here! Come on, Ellie! Come on! Just rip off your boots, sister. There you go. You can run. She climbed up on the she's on so the light. snow. It doesn't, it doesn't sink. Yeah, she's so light she doesn't sink. She's so small to die is a giant zone. She has a lot of energy, this puppy. Oh good girl! Good girl, Ellie! Don't eat yellow snow, kids. Yeah, don't eat yellow snow. Or good that girl, yellow snow. Ellie Belly! things that we use when they're this little is to for recall when they're not on a leash just to use the other dogs because she'll always go that's the only way I can call Daisy back yeah like when they're little we always use the other dogs to teach them so our dog she follows the dogs and runs away and then we call the dogs back and then she comes she's so little that she gets a lot of exercise from inside I showed you guys a little bit today of what she does all day and one of the things that I was expecting when I got her expectation versus reality because I was expecting us to like cuddle and spend time together and play together but very quickly what had ended up happening was that she was like you're not as fun as the dogs so she traded me in <laughs> Daisy lets Ella go in her cage and Daisy's crate is her like she we don't ever lock it we leave it open unless we leave the house because she would rob us blind and take everything in there but her Kate her crate is like where she keeps everything. She steals everything she can around the house and stores it in her... It's a deaf dog thing. I don't think it's a Dalmatian thing. If you are missing anything, if you can't find something, like literally sometimes I'll bring something in, put it down, and it's gone before I even can turn around. She looks through her bag. She looks through her bags to see what she can get. And maybe, maybe some people would think that that's really bad, but... We find it's funny. Yeah, we love her and we don't like get mad. We just say stop taking our stuff. But she lets this baby in there. She lets our baby in there. 
Um, and no, we are not matching on purpose. <laughs> yeah. I today, got dressed before her. Today, well, Gabby, what color are you wearing? Today we were shopping. Get out of here! Let's see. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Y'all copied me. Today and Sophie when we're shopping. Did you notice that? Oh my Today god. we were walking into a store and Sophie looks at me and she goes, Oh my god, you suck. And then we were thinking, like, I wonder what Gabby's wearing. Gray and black. Actually, green and black. black. Green. green and black. Who got dressed first? Me. Sophie got dressed she first. Was asleep and you were down You got dressed second. Dad's and then wearing green. Dad's wearing green? Yeah. You're joking. He never wears oh yeah, he wears army green. <laughs> Let's go see. Where is he? This has ha been a phenomenon that's happened all of our lives. Uh, he is wearing green. <laughs> we're all matching. We're all wearing green? Yeah. Green. We're all wearing green and black. And then you're the one odd man out with yeah. jeans on. It's going to be cold tonight. It, it is going to be cold? Matching us. Yeah, I told you. 14. I told you. Sam's like, let's just leave the horse's blankets off. I'm like, no, that's not going to work. So I'm going to put Penny's blanket on and then I'll come with you and we'll put the pony's blankets on. Okay. But you can put her down over there and let her run around and see the barn. She's warming me up. I, even though I complain to you guys all day about her, like how I thought I would have more time with her, I do have time every morning because we get up like a good two hours before our, the other dogs get up. I only woke up at 7.30 today because I was asleep. Early last night. Yeah, I went to bed at 8.30 and 7.00. Yeah, Sophie handled the no sleep and so did Gabby. No, like so well. Elizabeth fell asleep. Uh, Elizabeth is more like me. I would have been a basket case. But um, in the morning, I get to spend all my time with her and it's been, it's really amazing. And then at night when she goes to bed, even though she's asleep, I cuddle up to her. I brush her. She chose I, me this morning. Yeah, this morning she's like, I spent two hours with you already. I'm going to Sophie. But I love her and I'm excited to have her and I wanted a dog that could get around on the farm. Clearly, she can make it down to the barn. You should have seen our chihuahuas trying to get them and down to the barn. Once. How long did it take our chihuahuas to get down to the barn? Three hours. Like a long time and Macy would be like walking like one foot, like two feet on the ground at a time and she did, they just hated it. Like they just, it took them 20 minutes to get from the barn to the house. And I think it's going to take you two minutes once the snow is gone. She's going to be as fast as the other dogs. Once it's mud, she's going to be all covered in mud. Yeah, that's why we put the boots on her, but. But she doesn't like boots. Yeah, I'm not a believer in boots. I'm not, sure I'm not a believer in boots for dogs. Wait, I got to put on pennies. Horsey now, baby, now. All right, horsey number one. He's like, what's that? For scene number two, you gonna get your blanket on? Minus 14 tonight. Did you have fun out there, Penny? She loves being in the field. All right, should we put her blanket on like a good girl? It's gonna be minus 14 tonight. So she needs this, but, let's see, here are your legs. Just wanted to see, I don't think she's in heat. She might've just been excited yesterday because I was late taking her out to be with Chino. Oh, hello, fatty. Oh my gosh. Did you eat that other cat? Do you guys see that? I have never seen him that big before. He could... for like three days and come Oh back. my gosh. I need to give him his. Yeah. Oh, you're such a. <laughs> Holy moly. I, I don't think that's natural. Hopefully, it's all fur. See, he doesn't come to us that much because he knows when he does, we deworm oh, him. Like. This morning he was not that fat. He wasn't that oh. fat. Sam, what's wrong with him? <laughs> he ate something. He ate like a bird. They're, like it's in his cheeks too, so it has to be. All it must be all fluff. It's all fluffy. Man. All fluffy. Oh, he ate the birds. What? There's no more birds. In here. <laughs> there oh, there's a bird. There's oh, a big okay. bird. It looks like a chicken. There's a bird. Is it a chicken? No pigeon. Big pigeon. All right. Well, I think he ate. Oh no, there's two. There's two. <laughs> Yeah, there was three. There's like five. I don't know, but there's definitely some birds in Ollie's belly. How's Gracie like in her new bowl? We no, we fooled you. I know. That's what we did. We did it on purpose. Everybody's getting on their blankets. How you doing? So I want to put her down, but I don't want her to one run outside in the paddock and then run under the fence and me not be able to catch her. And I don't want her to run under the horse's bellies. So we'll go over here. Come on. Someone sent me, come on Molly. Someone sent me, uh, uh oh. 
Crap. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Don't be scared. Gracie, you are nosy. Gracie's like, oh, it, that little thing is on the ground. I'm going to look at it. <laughs> it's okay. You want to see her? It's just a puppy. I'm going to start bringing Ellie down to the barn more often. I'm going to let her go running in the barn she, this was the target. when the doors are closed so that she can get used to being in the barn. She can burn off energy because honestly, like all day, that's all she does. And the only time she comes to me is when she's tired. She follows me around and it's how I know she needs a nap. And then she wants me to sit with her and then I do. <laughs> Oh, I just love her. Do you love her? Yeah. We all love her. She even loves Gabby. We have two babies now. Yeah. Pony and a puppy. Yeah. My favorite part of today was when I saw that Sam bought a leaf blower to sweep <laughs> the barn floor. Oh yeah. That makes me happy. I, I was like, yay, finish early. <laughs> yay, finish early. But finish I do. A new record today. I absolutely love that. Don't you know that you're beautiful?